I started riding when I was four. I always looked so tiny on the horse. My mum used to always smile when she told me to get on them. I started competing dressage at the age of seven. By the age of twelve, I had won every competition I had entered and had won the national championship twice. By the age of fifteen, I was scouted by the British dressage team. This means that I now get coaching sessions from Olympic trainers and BB trainers such as Clyde Milken, Mina Venable and Nick Rogers. They are all helping me to complete my dream of being an Olympic dressage rider and to compete in the Olympic 2020 or the Olympic 2024. At the moment, I train with these coaches four to five times a year and they give me tips and advice on what I should do for the next training session. At the moment, I am doing these training sessions on my RDA horse called Hilda, who you will see in this video. Although Hilda is an amazing horse, she isn't always consistent which can be a struggle when trying to get to the Olympics. Also, when it comes to my BD competition, I can't always have Hilda there. This means that I have to borrow a lot of horses from other stables, yet again meaning that my performance isn't consistent because I'm always on, on a different horse. Because of this, I feel like I am not developing at the pace that I should be and that I'm being pulled backwards instead of pushed forward. And right now, I feel like in order to move forward and to progress to what I want to be, I need a horse and a coach which, which I'm able to bond with and develop with. I would like a horse that is fairly young, quite wild, but still sensible and, and mature, that enjoyed working and getting into the competitive world. I want a horse that is very gentle and kind, that enjoys doing what I do, and but, but also just to have a bit of fun with and I've also noticed that over my many years of riding, the horses that I work with the best are not the ones that are fully trained in dressage, or the ones that have absolutely no experience, but the ones that have a bit of knowledge, but they learn with me and they develop with me. Those are the ones that I feel I develop with more and I learn with more. Hilda is a good example of this horse as she has previously done a lot of dress dressage but not to my kind of, kind of level so she's also learning new things as I'm learning new things and we're learning together how we can work together and work together and get better score together and I feel that this those horses really are the best kind of horses because when they are already trained and already Olympic level, it's difficult to then teach yourself how to deal with that horse. And I know a lot of trainers would say it's better to teach yourself, but I personally think that it's better to go with the horse and to learn with the horse so that you develop that friendship and that love for each other before you start challenging each other to do new things and that's one thing that I really enjoy about riding different horses that you can really see what, what level they're at and what level you're at and how you can make each other better. I've been riding Hilda for around seven months now and I do feel like we have grown to love each other and we're going to bond. And she really does help improve my score and my ride. 
as you can see, she's a little bit spicy. She doesn't always like the, the, the mountains lot. But, but once you're on, she is a fantastic horse, and she's such a sweetheart. And she definitely knows what she's doing. She knows, she knows what she's there for. And I'm pretty sure she enjoyed it at some point, too. For all those people that don't know what dressage is, to put it briefly, it is riding the horse in different movements and shapes, which you are then that reward your points on, and the higher your points, the higher your score. Every test starts by walking down centre line at A. You hold in the middle and do a salute. As you can see, Hilda slightly swung her back legs after the hole, which lost me a few points. Then we do a free walk across the diagonal, which is where she stretches her neck down to the floor and her face lengthens. Then we come back down the centre line, which I think she did pretty well. She was pretty accurate on that one. After that, we do two 10 metre circles, one to the right to B, and the other to the left to E. After that, we continued right down to the end of the arena. We turned to the right, which did, which then leads on to a half 20 metre circle from M to H. This shows that the horse has a little bend in her neck and body. After that, we then, we then do a S shape across the whole side of the arena which is the equivalent of two and a half 20 metre circles. I then have to walk straight at X, which also shows that she has bend in her neck and body. Following the S shape, I then do another free walk across the diagonal, which again shows her stretching her neck and increasing her pace. Hilda isn't always good at this, neither am I, but we are improving over time. We then do a full circle, or not circle, a square, I guess, round to B, where I do my final movement, which is a half 10 metre circle onto the straight line, where I then walk right up to the judge with a, bit, a big grin on my face and halt in the middle and salute. <laughs> I'm so proud that Hilda actually stopped this time because a few times we haven't stopped, especially in the warmer. This sometimes what worries me as you don't know what to expect from these horses. So I also like being kept on my toes and to just not worry about what happened and to just enjoy the moment. Another reason why I enjoy riding so much is because I have a disability. I can't do a lot of sports that others can. So, for example, football or basketball or netball or rugby, I'm not good at because of my disability. But horse riding is the only sport that I enjoy and that I'm good at and that I feel confident doing. I'm always smiling while on a horse because not only do I love the sport, but Riding the horse gives me a sense of new legs, which sounds weird, I know, but because I can't run by sitting on the horse, it gives me the freedom to be able to run and to walk faster, and it just gives you a big sense of freedom and happiness, and I really can find anything else that makes me that happy. I also love collecting all my awards. Well, to be honest, I hate going up to the front, but the good pictures are always worth it. And this time I got to meet the brilliant Dye Green, 
who is a big influence to me as she is exactly where I am at a year ago and she has worked her way up to being an uh, international dressage rider in less than a year. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, if you would like to see more videos like this, then leave a comment down below. Thanks again for watching.